Hey DM Crafters, DM Scotty here and welcome to DM's Craft Short Tip. Today uh, we have a fun little project. It's uh, building off of the dead tree uh, project. Uh, this is going to be uh, a larger tree, a live tree, but it's going to have an interesting feature on it. It's going to have a perch, a sniper perch, so that uh, enemies can snipe at your player characters almost with impunity because uh, they could pull a rope ladder or a rope up and the players have a hard time getting up to them so they would have to either fight back with missile weapons or spells so it can be a fun little uh, challenge for your players and a very easy easy project to do and uh, let's go to the table and we'll get started so here's the tree perch I'm working on uh, you can see a figure will fit on the perch moving all around the tree um, be careful when you put the branches on, you don't want to make it so that it's hard for a figure to uh, stand on there. But I've got the, I haven't put the branches on yet, but I want to show you what I did. So I just cut the disc and uh, cut through the circle and then cut out the center and then slid it over the tree. And then I had some braces, uh, three braces around the tree. You could even do like branches coming up to be braces. Um, it was more like an elf thing. Uh, basically I just did the technique of uh, using the uh, paper towel roll, put it soaking glue on the, uh, the uh, paper towel, wrapping it around the uh, roll, and then squishing it, squishing it down. And then the base is just thin cardboard with uh, hot glue. I glued it to the to the stand and added some roots uh, with the hot glue. So now what I'm going to do is I'll just I'll go ahead and add those uh, branches to the tree and uh, paint it up, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Here's my tree with the perch, and I think it really came out well. Uh, the perch looks nice. You can set uh, figures on there, like I've shown earlier. Uh, so what you could do is have the figures uh, pummeling the uh, players with missile weapons, and or the players could get up here and do the same to the monsters. But what I would say is like the monsters have a rope or they have a, uh, la uh, uh, a ladder, a uh, rope ladder that they can climb up and they can pull up when they get up there. So for the players to get up there, they got to climb the tree and try to get around this, which would not be an easy feat. So uh, it could be an interesting uh, challenge for the players. Uh, let me uh, take these off and I'll show you a few more details. So you can see the base. I uh, did a little bit of flocking on there. And I did some um, um, glue gun texture on there. So it looks like the roots are going into the base. I also did some glue gun texture on the, uh, the tree itself and on the perch. Uh, so that looks really nice. I also painted the perch a different color than I did the tree, so it kind of sets it off uh, from the tree itself. Now you notice the branches on here, and the branches are the same way I did the dead tree. They're just the same from the exact same plastic plant that I did with the dead tree. Although I did a, little, I did a few things differently. One thing I did differently is when I poked them in, I put some hot glue on the end to make it larger uh, as it connects to the tree. So since this is a larger tree, I thought that would be appropriate. I also added some uh, little green stuff here that, uh, to represent foliage on the tree, since it's not a dead tree. Uh, but uh, I didn't want to make the foliage too crazy uh, to obstruct play, but, but give it enough of a, uh, you know, a presence that it would um, look like a live tree. So, and, what I, and you can also get this stuff larger. What I used for this was I used these, uh, this uh, coarse uh, scenics turf. And all I did was I just spread white glue over the branches and then poured this stuff on, uh, caught it on a plate and then used it over and over on the rest of the branches. But um, you can see this is only $4 and this, this would, you could do dozens of trees with this, uh, just a small packet. You can also get bigger pieces uh, if you wanted like thicker foliage on the tree, but I just like that. I thought it was just enough of a presence uh, to uh, make the tree nice and look like it's living without being any kind of hindrance to play or all the stuff falling off when you bump it every time. So I think that turned out nice. And there you go. There's a nice easy way and cheap way to make uh, trees uh, that you could have perches on uh, for your enemies to sit on and uh, snipe at your uh, poor player characters. So there we go and I'll see you next time on uh, DM's Craft. Hey guys, if you're really digging these videos and would like some more information or to talk to other crafters, look at the link below in the description and uh, you can join my forum on the DMs Craft. We'd love to have you and I'll see you there.